Okay, so since we have no window here, now we have to add one. So I'm just going to go to right click and hold and go to face and just select this part. Once that's selected, I'm going to go into create UVs planar and I'm going to go into window UV texture editor and this is our section we just selected so I'm just gonna make that a little smaller as you can see like if I move it around the tech our texture it, you can see it here so I'm just gonna move this up here So I'm using the same texture and now I'm going to add, actually we don't need to but I'll just move it there. So there's our UVs. And we do the same thing we did with the, this one. Just maximize that. Print screen. Here it is. So I'm basically just getting rid of the stuff we don't need. That's our window. So now I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna add some more color to it. So it's basic Photoshop skills here. So I'm just going to make this fit. There's our window. So, um, so I'm going to save this again. JPEG, card texture, save. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go into a window, 
rendering editors, hypershade again, Lambert 5, that's where our texture is. I'm going to press reload. And now it pops up, but it's obviously not lining up, so I'm just going to go to Window, UV Texture Editor. And I'm just going to go to UVs and move this around. And now it has a front window, as well as side windows. Close that. And you could also add um, blends and Lambert on top of the texture, so like, if I don't like these here, I can just go into face mode, which is right click and hold, get a face, and I'm going to select all these. I'm going to shift select, window, rendering editors, hypershade, <laughs> click number one, right click and hold. And as you can see, I added a material on top of the texture, so now you don't have red inside of the car. You could also add another texture in there, but I'm choosing not to for this. So all we have to do now is texture one wheel, and we can use the same texture for all the wheels since it's the same size and it's exactly the same. So. Okay, so now we're just gonna texture one wheel. So just select the wheel. Uh, make sure you're in object mode. Select the wheel. Uh, you go to create UVs uh, and add um, create UV based on camera. So go to window UV texture editor. There's the wheel. We're gonna go to UV to shell. and minimize it. There's our wheel. And now we just press print screen and bring that into Photoshop. So I already have a wheel which I googled. Just go to Google and find an image of a wheel and use that. Or make your own wheel, but I'm just going to use this wheel. Here's the wheel. Um, uh, let's do that again. So, and I'm just going to bring this wheel over. And just place it on top. And I'm going to 
lower the opacity, make sure it lines up. And that looks about right. So now I'm going to save this and I'm going to call it wheel. Okay, now I'm going to go back to Maya. So you got a window, rendering editors, hypershade, create, material, Lambert, go to color, go to the checkered box, click on file. Here's our wheel JPEG, and you got open, and our texture is in. So now we just select the wheel, assign material, go to a window UV texture editor, and let me minimize this, make it smaller. And again, I'm just making it uh, fit my wheel. There we go. Now we have one wheel. So now I just need to add that to the other wheels. If we go to rendering, hypershade, select all the wheels. Go to your wheel texture. I'm just going to delete those. And I'm just going to duplicate this, control D. There we go. Control D. And now we have a car with wheels. So this is basic uh, texturing and using materials. So there's other ways you can do things. Um, this is just how I learned how to do it, but uh, there's different ways to do it. And um, yep, this concludes the texturing and materials tutorial. Uh, next tutorial will be discussing animation.